Loft Mountain Campground is the largest campground in Shenandoah National Park. In this video, I'm going to show you the best campsites. Let's get to it. Check out our latest RV and camping related gear at our Amazon storefront. Link in video description. On your way to the campground, you'll find the Loft Mountain Campground store. They have a pretty nice view from the rear of the campground store. Let's go check it out. This is the back of the campground store. There's a little seating area back in here. You have a pretty nice little view, and uh, there's a trail that gives you access to the back country. They have a laundry and showers here at the campground store. Page hours. This is a huge camping area. Off to the left here, these are tent camping sites. They all have bear boxes. Site A80, where Melody's walking right now, that will accommodate my fifth wheel. Um, there's no problem getting my fifth wheel in here. We took the access road out with our vehicle. That's the picnic table and the fire ring for campsite 80. And I can get my red level here. So this one will work. Uh, like I said, this is a huge campground. I'm only going to show you the very best campsites. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm standing at the exit of the campground. Uh, off to my right is the direction you'd be coming uh, uh, from Skyline Drive. Uh, you'll pass the campground store that way. And off to the left, just around the, the crust of the hill here is the entrance to the campground. You're looking at Loop G. Most of the sites have a steep grade to them. Uh, I'm only gonna show you a few of the best campsites. I'm on top of the hill in Loop G, and uh, we have a smaller camping configuration. See those deer back in there? Two small deer. Anyhow, this campsite right here may work if you have a smaller camping configuration. And you should be able to get your reg level in that site. Let me give you this site number. That's site G190. It does have a little grade on it, so this is not going to be one of my preferred campsites. But if you're tent camping, this would be an okay site. You got some shade back in here. There's your picnic table. You got a fire ring. Um, place to pitch your tent back there. Those deer are still back there. And uh, so, yeah. Pretty nice little campsite there. Yeah, too much of a grade for my liking, but if you're tent camping, site G190 may work for you. So this is E Loop, and at the crest of the hill in E Loop is site E145. It is a reservable site, and that will accommodate my fifth wheel, and you can get your rig level there. There's your picnic table and your campfire ring back in there. Site E-145 going down the book for Loft Mountain Campground, Shenandoah National Park. You'll have better cell service up on top of the crest of the hill here, and that's what's uh, another advantage here in E-Loop uh, at Site E-145. Right across, I wouldn't recommend this campsite for an RV because of the tree obstruction. But uh, site E144, if you're a temp camper, that would be a nice site. Uh, it's not as flat as the site I just showed you, uh, but still, it's fairly level. And that's your seating area where you can pitch your tent. Generators are permitted in E-Loop. They are not permitted in F-Loop. 
Uh, all these are dry camping sites. There are no hookups uh, here at Loft Mountain Campground. Uh, there is a dump station. I'll put site E147 down for an alternate. There is a uh, left to right slope on that site, a slight slope, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna include this as an alternate. You can get your fifth wheel and tow vehicle into that site. And there is a picnic table and fire ring with this site. You have to walk back around the corner here. So you're nice and secluded back in here. There are many restroom facilities throughout the campground. This is a typical restroom. There are no showers in there. There is a utility sink in the center, and then you have a restaurant, uh, flush toilets, and a sink in, uh, in this uh, restroom facility. Many of the campsites, um, uh, you'll have a tough time getting your rig level. That's why I'm not showing you a lot of campsites. And then in other campsites, such as in C105 off to the right, uh, you have a tree that's uh, several trees that are real close. So if you had any slides, that may pose a problem. But here's one that would accommodate my fifth wheel. C10, C104 off to the left here. Let's take a walk back up in here. On the crown of the loop, you should be able to get your rig level. And that's your seating area back in there. And then you have plenty of room on each side to make your swing. Uh, so this campsite's going down the book. There's a keeper for you folks, site C104. And if you're tent camping, they have uh, several of these sections. This is one of the nicer sections. You see all these uh, posted parking spaces, 23, 22, 21. Uh, these are walk-in tent camping sites and there's your there's there's your uh, bear boxes and your picnic tables but you're right up here on a bluff if you just walk over to the uh, wood line you have a pretty good view of the valley on the main camping loop site a64 be a nice site um, that's A64 you're looking at right there. It is occupied, so I'm not gonna walk in there. I'll, I'll give you a look from the other end. So the last site I showed you is right off to the left here. And uh, it's a fairly large site. Uh, there are no tree obstructions if you have slide outs. So that, that site would accommodate my fifth wheel. And better yet, site A66. You can get your rig level if you uh, have your camping configuration on the crown of the camping uh, half moon here. That's your campsite back in there. Site A66 going down the boat. Site A70 is another keeper off to my right here. Let's look at your seating area back in there. You have a bear box at that side as well. And if you have a big rig, there's no overhead obstructions. You can turn right back out and get on to the uh, main camping loop. All kinds of wildlife. You can see up in the distance there, deer just crossed the road. So right behind me is tent camp site number 25. I think I'm gonna wrap the video here. I've given you some of the best campsites in Loft Mountain Campground in Shenandoah National Park. Hope you liked the video. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.